he definitely goes with what the audience says, which is like, so that's the worst part. I think that's what the end of Frenemies was because he got so much hate from that last episode. Because if- it's so, it's so on. I, I didn't get hate for the last episode. By the way, what is that statement? I, I always pushed through through the controversy with you. I mean, I don't know what you're talking about. About, I mean, I do think Trisha is. I do think Trisha is uh, confessing and uh, projecting a little bit here, because first of all, I don't read. The, I've kind of disengaged from the comments from a moment on mental health like years ago, and it's one of the best things that, that I've ever done to have a sustainable career on YouTube. And um, Trisha reads everything. I know that, so I think this is just projection and confession here. At first, he's like, "Yeah, let's film tomorrow. Let's do it." And then all the comments were like, "Trisha's like spoiled and tired, all this stuff like that." And then he like changed. It. So, I just think okay. the amount of effort, Ethan. I'll just use Ethan as the example. The amount of effort he'll put in and the the length he's willing to go to like make an accusation or highlight a bad part of somebody. If he gets it wrong, he doesn't put an equal amount of effort in redeeming like it, it or correcting it at yeah. all. Not I out still of your get mouth. so much hate from his audience. Like literally, even not. It's not even that. Severe. So my audience is your audience too. Trisha's got this weird thing where she thinks that all the hate she's getting is just H3 fans. It's like, I think, I hate to break it to you, Trisha, but I think they're mostly your fans that are become disillusioned with you. I mean, we would get like four or five million views per podcast of Frenemies, and we get like, you know, two million on a really great episode here. So there's like three million extra people there that don't care about me. Um. Yeah, I think most H three fans just want this to be over. I think they're exhausted from the drama, and so am I. Okay. I don't want it. I don't want it. But I'm bringing it onto myself. I'm manifesting on that amount. I don't want it. And I'm refuting all negative energy right now. The energy I've caused in this room right now, refuting, I'm saging myself, I'm saging you guys. Okay, we're saging everything and we're starting new. And I don't care who thinks it's fake or I'm lying or whatever, I, I don't care. You can think whatever you want about me and that is the beauty of the internet. People can do and think and say whatever they want.